In today's episode of Smart Delta, we bring to your living room Governor Kawa Smart initiatives aimed at creating a robust healthcare system through contributory health insurance scheme in Delta State. The growth and development of the economy in any nation amongst several factors is a functional health system. Therefore, improving the health status of individuals, families, communities, and for all ages is important to building a prosperous society. However, more than half of the global population lack access to essential health services, and a few numbers of those who are privileged to have access suffer undue financial hardship. Hence, the weary situations of vital health services have been the bane of universal health coverage, especially in developing countries. In developed climes, various health insurance policies exist to fundamentally increase access and use of healthcare services while minimizing out of pocket expenditure, especially for the unemployed or people with low paying jobs at any point of the utilization of healthcare services. In a society where there's no health insurance, when an individual you know, have any need to visit any healthcare facility, the individual first and foremost will want to think about the cost of accessing healthcare. What health insurance does is to eradicate this barrier of affordability, barrier of accessibility of healthcare, is to ensure that individuals who have need for healthcare are able to access healthcare facility without necessarily paying from their pocket. In developing countries, the alarming rate of individuals who die on the account of preventable diseases is quite disturbing. This is due to the fact that at the point of getting sick, they stay out of the hospital. And even when they get to the hospital, they are unable to pay for their Medicare. To prevent this ugly trend, the administration of Senator Dr. Atoy Fanyokoa has introduced the Contributory Health Insurance Scheme. This system enables citizens to pay just a token ahead of time. And when they do get sick, they don't need to incur out-of-pocket expenditure. In today's episode of Smart Delta series, we will take you through the state government's efforts in maintaining the momentum of a robust healthcare system through contributory health insurance scheme in Delta State. Let's go. Since the establishment of the Contributory Health Commission on the 4th of February 2016, the burning desire to achieve universal health coverage and ensure access to quality and affordable healthcare services for all residents of the state have remained on course, spreading across the 25 local government areas of the state. We're trying to ensure that as many Deltans as possible access healthcare. But from the beginning, we insisted that the premium for all pregnant women and all children under five must be taken up by the state government because these are the vulnerable group and we need to try their lives. We need to change the narrative at that level. Dr. Efrain Okowa, the executive governor of uh, Delta State, has done very well in our reckoning, especially in the health sector. And we are particularly delighted because of the interventions relating to universal health coverage, which will deal more with our people at the you know, rural level, malaria, and the care of the under five and you know, pregnant women. The Delta State's Contributory Health Scheme is maintaining a vibrant and sustained health and financial security for all residents of Delta State. As the COVID-19 pandemic stretches into a second wave in the first quarter of 2021 with all the unprecedented challenges that come with it, the Commission has been able to stay afloat. They have maintained their core essence of health insurance policies to protect people from the catastrophic financial implications of illness. The policy gradually tackles the rise in the cost of healthcare services in cases of emergencies or unexpected illness. Health insurance is not for the sick, it's actually for the healthy. Our strategy is to ensure that people live a healthy life so that they don't need to go to a hospital. But if 
it comes to a situation where they need to come to a hospital, it should not be at any financial strain to them. We have a crew of medical team, they go into the community, live with them for two weeks and they do a crew change every two weeks. And with that, the people have that access to quality health care no matter where they, they are. With Governor Kaur's commitment and determination to protect the health of all Deltans, the scheme is bundled into three convenient plans. The former health plan, covering public service workers and organized private sector. Equity plan for the vulnerable group and the informal health plan, where all residents either in the vulnerable group or in the public service are attended to. The state government is doing well. In short, that's one of the best gifts Dr. Ifan Yoko has given to this state. Because one of the things that actually weigh people down is that when you are sick, you are at your lowest point. You are not able to raise money to go for treatment. People die. But this time, you don't need to. All you need is your transport to the hospital and you'll be taken care of. And that's a great thing the government has done. He has brought health care to the people. Under the scheme, the maternal, children under five, physically challenged and the vulnerable components of the state's population have access to free health services. This uncommon feat has continued to attract accolades to the Okoa-led administration. We were delighted when the governor came and brought a scheme that subs you. And so we were beginning to have great annual enrollment because these pregnant women now have access and the beauty of it is that the free maternal before His Excellency Governor Kowa's administration was restricted to government secondary health facilities. But now it is expanded to primary and even private. So that is a great sustainable product. To a large extent, the scheme has done so well, especially considering the equity uh, aspect of it. Most of our patients here, with the free maternal and free under five, they assess quality care here. Uh, deliveries are safer now because they know that they don't need to pay anything to come to the hospital. To improve the security of data and strengthen the speed of registration, the Commission incorporated electronic technologies and techniques effectively used to integrate the dizzying array of disparate data from state, local government and communities. This is attainable through the partnership with InterSwitch and eCloud Health, who are utilizing modern apps and equipment to assist personnel in accredited health facilities to provide prompt services. It used to involve, you know, names, information, telephone numbers, but with development, we've come to the point where we now have to take some biometrics. And to do that, we come up with some technology uh, on a handheld machine that does fingerprinting and makes it so easy. So that when you access healthcare, wherever you are, you just have to put your name in and we can see your face. We know who's accessing it to reduce incidents of fraud. There's an app there where we do our billing. Anything written on the claims form, we enter into the system and forward via through internet. The Commission has been able to deploy a 24 hour registration application that allows every agent registered person from every nook and cranny of Delta State and transfer that information down to DSCAC. And then within a period of time, an ID card is printed for each enrollee and dispatched to. To drive efficiency of the process, spur creativity, and ensure visible health impact. Access to finance program was adopted to give vent to the health for all Deltans. We realized that there are some rural areas where they don't have even facilities at all. All their facilities, but nobody's running them. Right in the high sea, we have swamps and people live in these areas. To, us, to encourage doctors to go there, we created what we call the Access to Finance program. Through which the city government put some money together, Bank of Industry put some money together, supervised by foreign NGOs, and we made funds available for any doctor, any practitioner that have the capacity to run all the rural health centers that we've discovered, and making sure that every area of Delta State have a facility well properly equipped that can take care of healthcare. Smart Delta. The Commission has maintained a cordial relationship with organizations and financial bodies who partner with the Commission for the effective running of the scheme. Some of these companies are Farm Access, 
Bank of Industry, and Sanofi. To a very large extent, these have infused vigor and credibility and have helped to sensitize and create awareness about the scheme. We're very happy and proud to be working with the Delta State Government in revitalizing primary health care services. One of the things that we have been very, very happy about is to be associated with the success of the Access to Finance framework. We propose this framework to the Delta State Contributory Health Commission where uh, private sector entities take over uh, defunct health centers in different local governments and pump in investments into those centers to be able to deliver uh, services to the people of those LGAs. One of such facilities is the Obio Health Facility in Anyocha North local government area. The equipping of this facility was top-notch during the flag-off by the Delta State Contributory Health Commission in partnership with Sanofi. The staff of the Delta State's Contributory Health Commission were on ground to register indigents into the scheme while providing free screening for diabetes and hypertension. It was all smiles for the people of Obio. They collected my blood, they test me, they tell me I do not have sugar, I do not have BP. So I'm very happy. I thank the government that have to come and test us with that we are in the village. State government has been empowering the construction here. Today, we are happy that uh, it's being utilized. This is a very comprehensive structure for anything to go. We'll continue to thank the government, particularly for this uh, insurance-based healthcare provision. We signed a memorandum of understanding with the Delta State Contributing Health Scheme. And in that memorandum of understanding, we agreed to establish a diabetes and hypertension clinic to provide uh, support for management of diabetes and hypertensive patients. We'll be training 400 HCPs, doctors, pharmacists, nurses. We feel that care should be brought to the people. Primary health care, yes, is a function of the local government. But the governor has been magnanimous enough to establish this Delta State Contributory Health Commission and they've come to partner with us and the people of Obio are quite elated, not only Obio but also the people of Anyocha North. Two months down the lane, Dr. Ben Nkechika, Director General, Contributory Health Commission in company of the Smart Delta team embarked on follow-up and inspection visits to ascertain the level of operation in the health facilities. Dr. Nkechika was elated to see that Obio Health Facility is still in good shape and has continued to provide quality health care to the community. How are you doing? Enjoying it. After the commissioning, because the awareness was incredible, you know, people came around, the people from the village and the neighboring community. Some people having diabetes and hypertension. When they came, they saw, wow, so we have a facility like this all this while, but we will not be utilizing it. So we've had a surge, an upward trend in our patient load. From Obio, the team headed to a Leopold Health Facility in a cast South local government area. The long-abandoned facility, however, has been handed over to Toronto Hospital under the Access to Finance program to revamp, provide trained staff and essential amenities for effective delivery of the primary level of care to the people. The team met with the Council of Chiefs and Elders of the community to inform them of the kickoff of the free medical services under the scheme. All we want to do is to go into communities where healthcare is deplorable or where they don't even have healthcare at all and transform it, creating uh, health facilities that are of optimal level and provide the best type of care, making the people of uh, the community happy and healthy. And that's what we're here to do. I'm highly impressed with what is happening. If you go around all the hospitals in the Kassar local government, it's rank number two. And uh, I'm not surprised at what is happening because uh, the governor of this state is a medical doctor. He knows that a healthy nation is a worthy nation. That is why he decided to make sure that all the rural communities get the benefit of uh, being treated whenever they are sick and we will continue to support this government. With all these in place, 
The Delta State Contributory Health Commission has additional mandate to run cottage hospitals in hard-to-reach rural and riverine areas and enroll residents of such communities into the state's health insurance. This is one of the smart agenda of Dr. Ifan Yokoa. The essence is to bring healthcare to the barest minimum to ensure that everybody in the rural environment gets healthcare to the doorstep. But that was one of the reasons why the vision of the contributory health scheme. So we come in here, we're happy because the contributory scheme is here to stay and is sustainable. The very day when I came, they gave me a medicine. I go back. Also, my children, when I carry come, they give us medicine, we go back. Governor, we thank you. What you bring to us here? This is a river community. If you look, who needs healthcare center? It's we for this community. We appreciate it more. So when you see this community, you can see the good work of uh, the smart governor. It touch everywhere. Smart Delta. Oh, Oni, how is our child? <sighs> our child is fine. <sighs> you know. Governor Koa is ensuring that we have sophisticated medical equipment to deliver good healthcare services here in Delta State. I am aware Governor Okowa upgraded facilities at the Delta State University Teaching Hospital, Ogara. Daddy. Oh, my daughter, how are you? I am fine. Oh. The doctors say they will be discharging her soon. Governor Okowa improving Delta State healthcare system. Smart Delta. The landmark achievements made in the health sector as a result of the health policies of Governor Fayoko's led administration is evident in the state. The revamping and re-equipping of facilities and improvement of healthcare services and health personnel is born out of Governor Kowa's commitment to have a healthy population. With this assurance, Deltans living in the river and communities can now enjoy accessible, quality and affordable health care at their doorstep. The Smart Delta team in their agility took an on-the-site visit to one of these health facilities in order to bring you undiluted stories of the beneficiaries from the creeks. The Oprosa Health Center facility in Wari Southwest got our attention. For about 1 hour 30 minutes, our boat sailed off into the horizon through the grey mist of the Atlantic Ocean with high waves caressing our fast-moving boat whilst headed to the beautiful, peaceful and heartwarming community. Gently, gently. Upon arrival at the village after a bumpy sail, we were welcomed by the residences of the joy of Alex Joseph, who fathered the bouncing baby boy who was just put to bed. As they couldn't contain their excitement, they thanked God for safe delivery and attested to the immense support of Governor Kowa for putting the right health infrastructure in place. My woman is definitely delivering everything, no morning, nothing, nothing. So this clinic is a good clinic to this our community. The doctor and the nurse, everybody are well good workers. Anybody come, they are good to attend to that person. The governor of Delta State is doing good. Marvelous things is our community. Dr. Ejiro Esiegbe, consultant physician, disclosed how the establishment of the hospital has helped to drastically reduce the negative influence of an age-long myth held onto by the people. Traditional birth attendants also have been guided aright in the same vein. As a result of these achievements, more pregnant women and under five children now live a better life and mortality is reduced to the barest minimum. Before, most of the people here are not used to registering for antenata and we were used to hearing cases of pregnant women die during delivery. So when this hospital came, you see that very many of them, you know, they embraced the opportunity. They know that, oh, when they are sick, it's their right. They just come over, doctor and pick in, this, this, and they don't have to bother about money. The quality, it's awesome. And the, the people are appreciative of the fact that 
it is coming at no cost to them. Beneficiaries of the program spoke glowingly about how they enjoyed basic health care despite their location. Hear their experiences. When they come here, the money won't just stay treat before till you go bounce if when you reach here. Like I money not every day pay. Like now they use the money to they do other things for us. So everything we will need for here now the doctor that they give us. And I thank Governor Kua, he they do all those things here for us. Kokoa, we thank God for him. Because he they bring free treatment for us. Everything here is free. Another facility that is making a huge impact in the scheme is Capitol Hill Hospital, situated in Wari. This facility provides complete primary and secondary healthcare services for residents of Wari and its environs. Rachel O'Leary and Dr. Lucky Okbanayote, Medical Director, Capitol Hill, had these to say. If you live in Delta State, you must be registered with Delta State Community commission it is good infrastructure is awesome thanks to the governor for making it happen the work on development is doing so well so we're proud of him i registered for this scheme last year so i kid in capital ill and we come to the hospital for free we don't pay anything come for treatment doctor attends to you well and they give you your drugs The commitment of some of these health workers are evident as they go extra miles in delivering special care to win the trust and confidence of their patients, causing them to take advantage of a scheme and not patronizing quarks. I'm going to offer them my best as a nurse to take care of the patient. It's really nice. It's not easy for the government to remember communities like this. Most of the government doesn't even look at these areas based on its kind of local but for the government to remember here that means they are really working because of the terrain we work in we have high rates of malaria the children are receiving pure treatment they are being taken care of the okowa administration is a godsend to this terrain he's a godsend to this community in delta north asaba specialist hospital precisely testimonies from beneficiaries affirmed that the mandatory health insurance scheme is a welcome program which has recorded huge success. These beneficiaries affirmed general improvement in service delivery since the introduction of the contributory health scheme. It's my husband that introduced me to this place. When I came, the way they attend to me, I like it and I was very happy because my son is getting better. Everything is free. So I appreciate the data state government for what they are doing. I pray that they should keep it up. The next phase of the Commission's program is the consolidation and sustainability of the scheme. The Okawa Led Administration approved an annual premium of 7000 for a comprehensive Medicare, including hospital stay and prescription of drugs. With this very highly subsidized premium, enrollees in the informal sector can enjoy quality health care that is affordable and easily accessed. Family registrations are further given at a discounted rate. If you join this scheme, you will get financial protection. You spend very little money and you get so much treatment. To make sure that it reaches everyone, it's excellent to broaden the premium. I suppose about between 18 to 25,000 per year to just 7,000. And so that everyone, within 80 days, you can pay your premium at 100 naira, and we're ready to take that. As of today, about 0.8 million Deltans have enrolled into the safety net of the contributory health scheme in Delta State. The target is to harness all strategies that will bring on board the informal sector, which represents more than 60% of the state's population. To this end, there is a more robust plan to ensure no stone is left unturned. The feedback segment. Question of the day. I want to ask the state government, under the contributor scheme, do they attend to children 
that have passed five years for free. I thank you, Joy Victor, for this question. The contributory health scheme is for all residents of Delta State, not even indigents. Once you're a resident in Delta State, you're entitled to healthcare services. Now, the healthcare service is broken into two compartments, several compartments. First is children below five years, pregnant women, and elderly people above 65. The government has paid their premium so those ones come in and receive healthcare services free. Those between five, above five years and below 65 years are also entitled to come and receive healthcare services. The government has discounted their premium, the money they pay. Uh, it's just 7,000 Naira a year. Now, even if you don't have the 7,000 immediately, you can pay it in bills. You can be paying 5,500 Naira. The payment structure is categorized based on your age and the people government has paid for and those that have to pay a little token. It's important to get informed about what is going on in this state. If you're going to pass suggestions to us as government, your suggestions will be welcome. To know more about the Smart Delta team, follow Smart Delta on their various links. Text your questions to 0812119213 or send with a hashtag access to all our social media platforms. It better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is, they do it better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is, they do. I see your job and wealth creation in Delta. Make the youth set them higher. Okowa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people set them cola. Come live in Delta. Say me, I say. Come invest in Delta. Come in 